Hey, fourth grade, happy Monday. Today I'm going to read to you pages 152, 153, and 154. And on your own, you can read 155 and 156. And please complete the form with the five questions. Okay, here we go. Um, okay. The natural beauties begged and pleaded, but cousin, cousin Howie wouldn't go for it. You know how we feel about sleepers. You don't want to expose yourself to bad influences, do you? I looked around at the row of sleeping bags on our living room floor and said, isn't this a sleepover? No, Peter, my boy, Cousin Howie said, this is a family reunion. But Adora said, you know, Howie, maybe it's not a bad idea to give our girls just an itsy bitsy taste of freedom. Spida, Tootsie said, asking Adora was going to sing. Tootsie asked, thinking Adora was going to sing, the itsy bitsy spider with her. Cousin Howie looked at Adora as if she suggested something totally shocking. What are you saying, sweetheart? I'm saying the sleepover would take place right in this building, just two floors away. But what do we know about this Tubman family? Howie asked. I was thinking I could tell him plenty about the Tubmans, but before I had the chance, Mom said... We've known the Tubmans for years. We spent our summer vacations with them, Dad added. Shared a house in Maine for three weeks. My mother is married to Buzz Tubman's father, Mom said. You can't get much closer than that. The natural beauties held their breath. I saw their finger crossed behind their backs. What about their morals, Howie asked. What about their values? Mom said morals? Dad said values? Well... While Mom and Dad looked at each other, I jumped in. Uh, excuse me, but I happen to know that Sheila thinks a lot about stuff like that. I didn't add that she thinks my brother has no values. And Fudge stretched out the word until he was sure he had everyone's attention. I knew he wouldn't be able to keep his mouth shut much longer. I might even marry Sheila, he told the Howies. Last summer, we played husband and wife. Played husband and wife, Howie said. It was an innocent game, Mom said, trying to reassure Cousin Howie. We didn't even sleep in the same bed, Fudge said. Sleep in the same bed, Adora said. Neither did Grandma and Buzzy Sr., Fudge added. Not until they got married. Now they play kissy face all the time. Kissy face, the natural beauty shrieked with laughter. Minnie licked Tootsie's arm. She petted his head and head the way she likes pet turtles. Finally, Howard and Adoria agreed to go down to meet Sheila's family. They returned half an hour later with Sheila and announced to Mom and Dad they decided to let the Natural Beauties have a sleepover. Sheila and the Natural Beauties hugged, then jumped up and down to celebrate the good news. I felt like jumping up and down too. I'm still not entirely comfortable with the idea, Cousin Howie told the Natural Beauties as they rolled up their sleeping bags and threw a few things into their backpacks. You'll be fine, Howie, Dad said. If you don't mind, Tubby, I'll handle this myself. Dad raised his eyebrows but didn't say anything else. Okay, Cousin Howie said. His bulky frame blocked the door so the natural beauties couldn't escape. First, I need some assurances from you. The natural beauties eyes eyed each other. Number one, Cousin Howie said. No pop music. I almost laughed. But the natural beauties nodded and repeated, no pop music. Number two, Howie said. None of those fashion magazines with advice on love. Okay, guys, go ahead and read page 155 and 156, and let's see what goes on at the sleepover. Does Adora um, and the Natural Beauties, do they make it with Sheila? Dun, dun, dun. Let's see. Okay, bye.